you know, it seems like Thurman had, had this awareness, even as a young child, to the, to the mystical, the, the, to, to the fact that actually personal religious and mystical experience of the divine was, was essential. Now, I don't know about your, your upbringing, Dr. Smith, but in, in, my, in my church upbringing, personal experience wasn't something to be trusted. <laughs> yeah, if, if, you know, it was very much sola scriptura, you know, <laughs> and from that sort of point of view. And, but here we have Thurman, who, who seems even from a very young age to understand that that, that personal experience, uh, uh, that religious experience is, is the key to, to understanding and having truth, the, the real truth revealed. Perhaps if you could uh, uh, talk a little bit about that, the importance of personal experience, a religious experience to Thurman, and perhaps some of the things that, uh, some of the experiences he had particularly over his life that sort of reaffirmed that within. Well, let me just say, Reverend Avery, you, you're in good company in terms of knowing that you're in a context of the church that hasn't necessarily appreciated mm. personal religious experience. I think the church has been very suspicious about religious experience, even though it reads from scriptures that are uplifting religious experience and it pronounces how they can are such a source of truth as revealed in the, in the authority of scripture. But it's such a challenge to the authority of the church often, mm -hmm. both at the local level as well as the larger institutional expressions of, of the church. Thurman's first experiences were what we uh, would call, I think, nature mysticism. Mm. And Thurman would say that as he was having these experiences, you know, the, the word mysticism didn't even come to mind for him. He just knew that as he would be on the beach there in Daytona and looking at the ocean and looking up to the heavens, or being in his boat fishing on the Halifax River, or sitting under his oak tree that was a source of a grounding for him. And he, he speaks about this oak tree as that which had stood despite the many ferocious storms that would sweep through that community, but the oak tree stood, and, it's, and it stands to this day, by the way. It, these connections with nature provided an experience for Thurman of wonder, of, of, of awe, reverence, what, whatever words for which we're reaching to describe what these kinds of experiences are, that gave him a sense of both himself and of the more beyond himself. Yeah. And Thurman trusted these experiences as confirming his being part of something that you really can't bring words to, but later he would describe it as a sense of ultimate security and ultimate confidence of counting and how important this was growing up in this kind of not only segregated environment but violent environment mm. in which you were often perceived as not counting at all in fact you know the wrong glance could end up not only in terms of some kind of, of punishment that would be in, embarrassing in the larger community, it could end up in death. Mm. And there seemed not to be any kind of, of distinction in terms of how young 
this could befall you if you had the wrong glance or said the wrong words or took the wrong step in, in this kind of environment. So this was an important experience for Thurman. And Thurman found it to be even more confirming than his local church was for him. Surprise, uh, surprise perhaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, there's this, this uh, he speaks about a time when he was wanting to be baptized as, and become a member of the church. And the deacons didn't feel that he was quite ready for that. And, and into that st- situation stepped his grandmother, Formidable who was, <laughs> pardon? A formidable woman by the side. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Not only in the church, but in the larger community. And she indicated to these deacons that, you know, deacons come and go. And, but they were going to have to deal with her <laughs> in denying her grandson this, this ritual of commitment that he so heartfelt. And, of course, she understood herself as knowing her heart. So they voted for to go forward with this because because that was an amazing sort of circumstance wasn't it because it it because that was when he was about 12 years old wasn't it and it just showed even then it just sort of showed a spiritual maturity uh, beyond what you would perhaps expect in a, a 12 year old especially since you know only a few years earlier he'd sort of decided never to have anything to do with the church, exactly. the church but then got that conviction to know actually I need to be in the church in order to and I think that was largely because of these mystical like 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 you say nature experiences affirming who he who he was and someone that was a beloved of of God really